So with rising inflation rates and skyrocketing cost of living, a question that is on many people's minds is why is it like a basic health need like dental covered by OHIP? Great to have PJ uh, Sabertson from Sabertson uh, Dental Denture and uh, Implants here. Uh, back on the show to kind of break this down for us and, and and like historically we can go back to why was it never created like years and years ago pj well that's the point it's it's you have to go back and understand the world from 1960 compared to today because we always compare things to today's world and back then it was a completely different world for for dentistry in in general because in that world did, did we think did we want to go to the dentist like was a dentist as big obviously as they were now or if we could take care of our teeth at home well, a, lar a large part was the technology. So the, the white fillings weren't invented until about the 1970s. So if you had a cavity in a front tooth or, or anywhere in general, the solution was to pull it or to put a big silver amalgam filling. So I think the dentist traveled around with like a pliers in a holster because they must have been pulling a ton of teeth. <laughs> right. So, so where are we at now? Why is, why is it not covered by OHIP or why can't we get dental coverage? Well, there's a lot of factors. Again, looking back in history is part of it because when it started, it's the short answer is because it never was. So uh, public health plays a role too, that when fluoride was introduced in 1945, uh, they thought that was a solution. Again, they were pulling teeth. So the solutions back then, the brushing, the flossing in 1960 seemed to be satisfactory. There wasn't the push to add it to, uh, to OHIP. Okay, so is there a point where it could ever be added? To OHIP? Well, keep in mind that the people in charge that we can't even get our clocks to one setting for 12 months. So, yeah. I mean, these things take time. But the other factor is money. So dentistry today is ballooned. It's, it's huge. And adding that expense would mean in April you get to do a little more calculations. Yeah, right, because right? so taxes would, def would, def would definitely go up. Where are we at with when even coming through your doors, like the, the coverage that people would have? Like how many people would have coverage through their jobs? Well, and that's the other point that in history, you know, 1960, a lot more, especially in Hamilton, the steel industry, a lot more union jobs. So I think it's about 50% more people had insurance. Um, so there wasn't the push back then that there is now. Like now it would make sense to have more of a universal mm -hmm. uh, dental, but um, it fits. Do you see people not going to the dentist or not taking their kids to the dentist, which is needed, especially as you're, as you're getting older, to making sure you, that everything is coming in properly because they don't have that insurance? Yeah, and this is why it's such a topic now because people are saying, what's going on? I can't afford this. Why isn't it part of this system? I can go to my doctor and get all these services. Did they lose the head on the mannequin? Why is the head not part of it? Right. Um, but it's it's part of looking at the history. Behind is there it. is there anything to, is there anything to be done? Like how can we can we help this situation in any ways? Uh, well, there is part of the conversation and campaigning involved um, through politicians. Right. So I think just you know looking and listening and yeah. keeping in track of it. Yeah. Where's your Where's your industry with it? Like when in your other I don't know when you get together with other dentists. Like where do you What do you guys discuss? Like because you want everybody I don't know you want to make sure everybody's taken care of. Yeah. But there is that money factor involved. Uh, well, I haven't taken a poll, but okay. I don't think it's too popular. Right. And judging by the the state of OHIP now, the the news and the conversations, I don't think dentists are really saying, we've, we've got to be a part of right. this. So. But technology continues, where's technology now when it comes to dentistry? Well, it's, it's, it's huge. Like, again, the, the bleach trays, the, the implants that came in the 70s. So yeah. all these things came after OHIP started. So. Yeah, and, in, and there's also something, maybe we can talk about this next time because we're, uh, we've, uh, the seniors programs. Yes. The seniors programs, that, uh, that, that, that's a start and something we can discuss, discuss in our, our, uh, our next interview. Great to have you at PGA uh, uh, Saberton from Saberton uh, Denture and Implants on, uh, on Morning Live. It's, uh, yeah, it's a topic that, uh, that is plenty to more to be discussed and uh, continued. And we'll do that on Morning Live after this.